Hi, I'm Jay with Family Handyman, and I want to show you a really cool router bit. It's called the Lock Miter Bit. And I chose to use this for my planner box for our bathroom project. Now these bits have a reputation of being really hard to set up, but in actuality, they're not. A setup block, a few pieces of scrap wood, and a straight edge is the only other things you need. Let me show you how. Now a setup block works really well for this bit if you're using 3 quarter inch or 5 8 inch material. I'm using a half inch material for my planter box, so this will get me close, but I've got to set up the rest by hand. All you need is a piece of scrap material and a straight edge, and we can set up the bit. The little trial and error the edge of that straight edge wants to just barely touch the router bit. Next, I'm going to do a test cut on my scrap wood. So now that I've made a few test cuts, I'm going to go over to my chop saw, cut it here, and split it down the middle, flip them over, and see how they made. So after that test cut, I still have a little adjustment to make. My piece is a little proud on the sharp side here, which means my bit is a little too low. I'll need to make that adjustment and make one more test. So now I've made the height adjustment on my bit and moved my fence just a little and came away with a perfect miter lock joint. And now I'm ready to make the miter cuts on my planter box parts. The way this router bit works is one cut is made with your stock flat on the router table and its mating cut is made with your stock up against the fence. That way during glue up, they slide right in perfectly together. So there you have it. Glue up is a cinch using the lock miter bit. And in fact, the box is already square. I don't have to worry about that. For more great tips like this, visit FamilyHandyMan.com.